November 7, UPI, North Korean NERS are suspected to have been behind an attack on India's space agency in September, when India's Chandrayaan-2 mission ended in failure. The Indian Space Research Organization may have also been warned of the cybertech, cybersecurity consultant said, according to the Financial Times. The connection between the failed Chandrayaan-2 mission and North Korea NERS is being made less than a month after India's Kudankulam nuclear power plant in Tamil Nadu may have come under North Korean attack, according to a South Korean intelligence organization, Issue Makers Lab. North Korea's suspected involvement in the cybertech, which may have begun when people open phishing emails, releasing malware into their systems, is being downplayed among Indian space authorities. Our systems were not compromised and our systems were not affected, said an official at the space agency. North Korea has previously been tied to breaches at South Korea's financial institutions and nuclear power plants. Pyongyang's suspected illegal cyber activities are taking place at a time when it has turned down talks with Seoul and warned the South Korean government against reckless military moves. South Korea and the United States are conducting combined air training, Vigilant Ace, this week, Voice of America reported. David Eastburn, the Pentagon spokesman for East Asia, said the training would not be adjusted or scaled according to North Korea's demands, the report said. The United States continues to seek the final and why verifiable denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, but North Korea has not signaled a willingness to give up nuclear weapons. Pyongyang also continues to produce anti-personnel landmines, according to the Anti-Personnel Mine Ban Convention, VOA reported Thursday. Hans Bratzker said North Korea is one of 11 countries producing landmines.